everyone and welcome to today's video. You may notice that this is a completely different change of scenery than my normal videos but this is because I am actually in a hotel room in York halfway through Tim and I's little 12 day tour of the UK. I just thought it would be really fun to film just like a really chilled out chatty get ready with me just having a little talk about what we've been up to and what we're kind of doing for the remainder of the trip obviously doing this whole look as well just using my fade into hue palette for the eyes i think this is the first time i've actually used this in a video so if that sounds like something you're interested in then then i hope you consider sticking around to watch today's video i think nearly a week or so tim and i have been away we've been to edinburgh we've been to newcastle and now we are in york um so we're here for a couple of days and then we're going on to Birmingham when it's actually Tim's birthday at the end of this week. And then we go back home on the Sunday. Yeah, so it's the Wednesday now and we go back home on the Sunday. So I thought I'd just do a little get ready with me in this hotel room and just have a little talk about what we've been up to. There will be some vlogs coming as well, but I just thought in the meantime I'd have a little holiday chat about what we've been doing. We started off our, I guess you could call it a UK tour last Tuesday. Yeah, so we went to London just for one night. We just had some like dinner in the evening and stuff because we weren't there for a really long amount of time. And um, the reason we decided to stay up in London the night before was because our train to Edinburgh was like half seven in the morning. So that was nearly a five hour train. Um, and then we had a couple of nights in Edinburgh. We have been there before, but we went a few years ago for my birthday, which is October, and the weather was atrocious. So this time we thought we'd give it a go in summer and the weather was lovely. I did actually meet up with another YouTuber. So I met up with my friend Detty, who is misanthrope here on YouTube, and we met up for lunch and stuff and had a little like wander around the city she lives in scotland so we just thought it would be really nice to meet up because we've been chatting for the past couple of months so that was really really nice i would definitely recommend getting the train from london to edinburgh because last time we went we flew from i think he threw up to edinburgh but this time the flights were like £200, which is just ridiculous considering it's like an hour and a bit away. So we decided to get the train. It was only £35 each for the train, which I think, considering you're going that far, is really, really good. The train was super comfortable. Like There was Wi-Fi, probably had the cleanest train toilets I have ever seen, which is definitely saying something because normally they are disgusting. It just went really fast. I was reading my book. I've just actually finished reading... Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Was listening to some music and then my headphones ran out of battery despite the fact them telling me that they had full battery, but there we go. So as I said before, we met up with Detty and Matthew and had lunch and a bit of a wander and stuff. And I can't remember what else we did that evening. Probably had some dinner, but I can't remember where without looking back through all of my footage. As I said, vlogs are coming, so don't worry. Um, the next day was our only whole day in Edinburgh. We decided to get the train to go and see the fourth bridge because we didn't actually do that last time. Like we did different things like both times that we went. Um, so that was really nice. The only thing that was annoying is that there is some stairs kind of pretty much directly from the train station down to the bridge, but they were closed. So we had to take what felt like the most ridiculous diversion ever through like this forest um, until we eventually got down to the bridge and then we decided to walk a different way back up along this like national speed limit road it felt like we were in the middle of nowhere it was a nice kind of morning out or cut the bells out train back was fine and then we just had a little wander around the city again the weather was really nice that day actually so we just wanted to make the most of being outside we went to the this is gonna sound weird the cemetery where 
supposedly JK Rowling got her inspiration for Tom Riddle and like McGonagall and Mad Eye Moody. So it kind of seems weird saying that we went, but there was like three tours going on whilst we were there. So we definitely didn't feel like out of place or anything. We also did the Scottish Museum, which I would highly, highly recommend. That was a really, really good museum. Again, we didn't do that last time. And we also did the National Scottish Galleries. So that was all like art and stuff that like, we both really like art. Um, they were both free, you just had to book your time slot, which I think is just pretty much standard for everything. At the moment, you can't just turn up, which whilst it has its good points, like you know you're definitely going to get in rather than queuing for nothing, it does mean that you've got to try and plan your whole day around how long you think you're going to take at the attractions. So especially if you're trying to do one and then do another one afterwards, you're trying to think about oh, how long am I going to take to get between them? How long am I going to spend at them? And all of that. But they were both really good and I would definitely recommend those. There's probably loads of other stuff too that I've completely forgotten. I just remembered we went to a barbecue restaurant for dinner one day, which was really, really nice. It was kind of hard to find. Well, we did have it on Google Maps, so we did have directions. But it was like just this very unassuming front door and then it was down these stairs and... It was really, really busy, which I suppose is always a good sign for any restaurant, but that food was really, really nice. I had like pulled pork and flatbread and Friday was like our last day in Edinburgh and we were due to get the train, or we did get the train at half three or something. Um, there had been loads of warnings about the trains because that Friday was like England v Scotland at Wembley, but I think because we got the train a bit later, anybody travelling to London on our train wouldn't have got there till like 8pm when the game would have obviously already started so that was fine and we got to Newcastle about five o'clock in the evening so neither of us have ever been there so we're quite excited to see what that had to offer. The first evening we had a little explore around but everywhere was just crazy where the football was on every like pub and anywhere showing it was just rammed there were just people all over the streets and like that's not really our kind of scene like we don't really go out and like you know go to clubs or go out and have like a million drinks or and neither of us really watch like the sport or anything so we just took some food back to our hotel for the evening and then decided the next day so obviously like the first whole day that we do some sightseeing so we actually went down to the quay and had a look at the bridges and stuff we went across to the baltic art contemporary art thing which is in this big um old i think it was a flower mill but that was really really cool so they've got like an enclosed viewing platform and they've also got like an open viewing platform and there were loads and loads of baby seagulls there well they had like a different name as like some other bird but basically the seagull and honestly, they were like the sweetest things ever. Again, they'll be in the vlog, so don't worry, you will get to see them. But the art itself was very cool. I really like modern art over like old art. So that was definitely right up my street. Again, it was free, you just book a slot. And then we just kind of made our way back towards the city centre. So on the way there, we walked past Newcastle Castle and down what felt like a hundred flights of stairs that were tiny and twisty and you've got to be careful not to trip over so we just already decided that we weren't going to go back that way we went back a different way just up a hill this time <laughs> we did a spot of shopping i picked up a few bits which i did record so you'll get to see those at some point as well and then the weather like really really picked up that afternoon so we just got like a can of fizzy and sat out in this like park square thing just using my fade into hue which i've literally been using this whole trip and i am kid you not like obsessed with it so the next day in no so this would have been the sunday yeah so the sunday we'd booked to go to two museums so we did the great north museum in the morning which was really really good um that was like 
a bit of everything really, a bit of science, a bit of history, a bit of like the natural world. It was nice there, it wasn't too busy or, or anything. Obviously they were like limiting the amount of people that went in. So we had a two hour slot for there, which we didn't need the whole time of. It wasn't like a massive, massive museum and some of the stuff was closed off. Um, and then we just grab a quick bit of lunch. So after we had had our lunch, it was time to go to the next museum. So the next one we went to in Newcastle was the Discovery Museum, which definitely was my favorite out of the two. And I really wish that we'd had more time there, but the only slot available was at half two and it closed at four, but I think it easily could have spent like two or three hours there there was just so much to see so like you walk in and there's this giant boat that you can like walk all around or like out the outside of it and then the first bit of the museum was like britain through the ages so it started off in the roman times and all the way up to like now but it was just really well done there wasn't like too much information going on because you know what it's like sometimes you're at a museum and there's just too much to even read or take in but that was really really good and there was so much other stuff i can't even remember all of it even though it was only the other day that was our last whole day and then we just had a bit of time on monday morning just to get some breakfast before getting the train to york which is where we are now so again the train journey was really nice it was only just over an hour and was really scenic actually and the only annoying thing is that we thought the hotel bag storage would be open because we got here just before one and then check in at the hotels not until three but Unfortunately, they weren't doing any baggage storage, so the streets of York are quite cobbled and we didn't want to be lugging our suitcase around any further or longer than necessary. So we just had a coffee and checked in at like three on the dot so we could get rid of our bag. So we then just decided to go for a little wander. We had a little walk around the streets, a little look to see what kind of pubs and shops and restaurants etc there were so that was really nice i went to the disney store and picked up a little something which was exciting and then we went to brew dog for dinner so on mondays they do like veggie and vegan mains the two for one so i had this goat's cheese and like red onion and pine nut pizza and Tim had like mushroom, I think like vegan mozzarella, like chilies and stuff. And we kind of created our own little tasting boards there because you can just get third pints of whatever they've got on draft. So that was really nice. And then we had a little dessert somewhere else. So today I think the plan is obviously to do this. And then I think we're gonna have a little wander Again around the town, we're going to go and walk along some parts of the wall, probably go and see like the Minster and some other historical bits because we like all of that kind of thing. I don't know what we're going to do later. Oh, I think we're going to like this shipping container thing for dinner. So funnily enough, there was one in Newcastle that we didn't end up going to, but there's like, it's not the same company, but there is one here in York. So I think we're going to do that. They've got all different like food and drink options i'm assuming you just order them on an app and they bring them to you so that will be quite nice and then tomorrow we've booked to go to the railway museum which looks massive i think they say it takes like two to three hours to do but we saw it we went past it on the train also on the way up to edinburgh and then obviously we saw it again when we got the train back to here so that will be really fun and so that's tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon we're going to another art gallery so a bit of a culture day tomorrow and then we leave quite early thursday morning i think about half 10 or something and then we're off to birmingham for our last stop so we've only got a couple of things booked so far for birmingham so as i said friday is tim's birthday and I have actually booked a surprise for him which he does now know about i only told him a few days ago so we're going to like this indoor golf thing called Ghetto Golf. I paid for this like package for us. So you get golf, so you get like 18 holes of golf, you get food and you get two drinks. So 
we've got that Friday afternoon and then Saturday we're going to the Sea Life Centre because we got two for one for that so you can probably tell that I like a bit of a deal and I also feel like I sound really organised saying we've booked all these things but you just have to otherwise there's just no guarantee that you'll get in at the moment so that's the only two things we've got like set in stone for Birmingham. I do also really want to go to the Primark there because they've got the world's biggest Primark. I'm sure there will also be some haul videos coming, so stay tuned for those. Well, there's my final look. I will hopefully try to remember to just link everything or just pop everything that I use in the description just in case you are interested. I hope that you enjoyed this get ready with me in a different <laughs> scene than normal and I hope you liked hearing about what we've been up to on our little UK break. There will be vlogs coming, there'll be some other videos coming so if you are even more interested about seeing exactly what we've been up to then please do keep an eye out for those. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you again in my next video.